this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to Yours. And guess what? We're making lamb curry today. Yay! We're going to start by making a curry paste. In a blender, add one large white onion, chopped into pieces, coarsely of course, add a couple of hot peppers, about five to six broadleaf pieces of thyme, uh, some of the scallions that's mentioned in there, a couple cloves of garlic, and of course blend 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 away then pour into a bowl and add the rest of the dried ingredients you're going to add a tablespoon a nice heaping tablespoon of tomato paste you're going to add the garam masala the turmeric and you're going to incorporate everything really really well don't forget add the curry powder as well and of course I'm using my favorite Madras curry powder let me tell you that makes all the difference in the world when all of the ingredients are nicely incorporated into a nice thick paste we're going to get ready to set that aside so the flavors bloom for a little then we're going to add to that nice screaming hot pan with the hot oil okay now masala is in and ready and this one here now is going to be for the lamb curry. Lamb curry. We're going to get this to cook down a bit here. Got a nice amount of oil in there. There we go. We've got, again, this blend of onions, garlic, some hot pepper. I've got in here also some curry powder. Spicy, which is the madras kind, turmeric, and some garam masala that's homemade that my mama made. Of course, I have no idea. I wish I knew, but um, eventually I'll find out. But this baby here is going to be cooking. We're going to let some of these onions and the garlic and the hot pepper get all going and get happy. This is where we're going to go. really good, I gotta say. It smells really, really very good. Okay, this masala is cooking, cooking, cooking away. Look at that color on the sides. Beautiful. I'm about to add that lamb in. Here we go. I added a little extra oil in this one here because I wanted to give the meat a little something to grab onto with all that masala. Look. And of course I added extra garam masala in this one here because with dark meat you want a bit more of that extra flavor and of course it would be much more pungent that way. We're going to let these babies cook low and slow on their own. Take a good look. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness, all that masala incorporated in. And she's ready for a nice bit and to get going. Okay, this baby is bubbling away. I've added the potatoes. Again, I put no liquids in here. This has been low and slow. And this way, the meat cooks in its own juices. Like this. This really does look amazing. I'm going to add a couple of hot peppers in there just to throw it around. And here we go. Potatoes all nestled in there. Yeah, there we go. Take a look at that beautiful curry. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Right away. So you can see this rich color. Beautiful. Taking a look at this lamb curry. Look at this. 
haven't added any moisture to this. This is just cooking in its own juices. And look at this. It is bubbling away. Potatoes are like almost cooked also. So maybe I'm going to add a little bit of water to this and let this cook. Not too much more and we're almost done there. Take a look. How beautiful does this look? How beautiful is that look, huh? I've added about a cup of water to that lamb. And there we go. Look, how beautiful. How beautiful does that look? I'm gonna let it cook down a little bit more. And then curry number two is done. And here we have it. Our lamb is done. Take a look at that baby. Ooh. Beautifully cooked. Mm -mm. Mm, rich gravy. Thank you for watching. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. Happy cooking, y'all. Hot tip alert coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. This is Mala here. This is your girl. Um, using alcohol actually in meats, especially dark meats, is an amazing way to tenderize that meat. Um, usually any types of dark rums or vodka, flavorless vodka will do. In this particular lamb curry, I used a generous splash of Hennessy. Ha <laughs> ha. By the way, alcohol does cook off, so you're not gonna get drunk off of a curry, okay? So alcohol evaporates. But what it does, the magic it does to the meat is make it beautiful and tender.